Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to play this chord progression. One, minor six, major four, minor two, major five, major one, in all major keys. So here's your chord progression. I'm gonna start in C major when I explain this. Um, for now, I'm just going to play through all 12 keys. Um, and then after that, I'll go into explaining. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is find these chords in C, and I like to start with C major just because that's the model that has no sharps and no flats, so it makes it a little bit easier. So for my one chord in C major, you have to know the major scale. How do you build the major scale? Well, you start on C, and you go up, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, whole step half step. So that means these notes are going to be the materials that you use to build these chords. So what's the one chord? First scale degree, one, this is the second scale degree, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then one again. So uh, using each scale degree, we're gonna build a triad. So I'm gonna start with one note, skip the next scale degree, go to the next note, skip the next scale degree, go to the next one. So that's how I build a chord in thirds. Um, so there's my one chord. C major, as you can see right here, C, E, G. Okay, how do we build the next chord, which is your sixth chord? So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. So our sixth chord is A minor. How do we build our four chord? One, two, three, four. How do we build a two chord? One, two. How do we build our five chord? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we go back to the one chord. So those are the chords that we need to build this chord progression. Of course, um, the way I'm doing it is all in root position. One, six, four, two, five, one. Where we don't wanna be jumping around like that just because it's not uh, good voice leading. So what we wanna make use of is the common tones. Okay, so uh, going from C to my sixth chord, which is A minor, I have two common tones, C and E. So all I need to do is keep my common tones and move the fifth of C major up to becoming the root of your sixth chord. So this is an A minor chord in first inversion. The next chord is a four chord. So my next, my four chord is an F major chord. So all I need to do, I have F, A, and C as my F major chord. And all I need to do is move the E from the A minor chord, the fifth, move up becoming the root of the four chord. So root third, fifth. So it's an F major chord in second inversion. The next chord is a two chord. So we have already two common notes. So all we need to do is move the fifth up, becoming the root of the D minor chord. And then go to the five chord. Um, we have, so G major is our five chord. What we need to do is keep the D as our common tone. And then the third and the fifth, move up becoming the root and the third of your G major chord. And then going back to the one chord, we have C as the common tone. So the G, the root of that chord is gonna become the fifth of your one chord. And then your fifth and your third are gonna go up. Okay. And then for the left hand, all it's going to do is be um, doing the bass notes or the root of the chord. So it's doubling the root. So my one chord, I'm just doubling that C at the bottom, going to the sixth chord, which is the A, going to the four, to the two, to the five, to the one. Okay. 
Um, so let's say we're doing this in G major. So I need to know my G major scale. I'm gonna find G, go whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, okay? These are my, my materials, the notes that I'm going to stick to um, as I build the chords. So I need a one chord, I need a six chord, one, two, three, four, five, six. I need a four chord, and I need a two chord, and then I need a five chord, and then a one chord. So you could start by finding um, the left hand part. So here's my root, here's my six, here's my four, here's my two, five, one. Okay, maybe get used to that first. Um, four, two, five, one. Okay, uh, and then for the right hand part, right, we're gonna play our one chord, and then just use this as a model. Okay, for which notes I am keeping as common tones. And you'll notice I'm starting with the right hand in the root position, just because it'll make it easier. Although you can do this in any inversion that you want. You can start off in first inversion or second inversion. This is the easiest way to do it. So um, root position, go to your sixth chord. So your sixth chord is E minor. I have the root here, the third, the fifth, and the root. And then I go to the four chord, which is at a C. So from the six to the C, the four chord, and then I keep common tone, uh, G and E, right? And my B moves up to the C, becoming the four chord, then the two chord, then the five chord. Okay, but I would say first learn this chord progression, get it really comfortable in C major. And then try other keys. Uh, so hopefully that helps.